Hello everyone. In this video, we will learn about the has one value DAX function in Power BI. Let me switch to the computer for the demo. Let me show you Microsoft documentation for has one value. So here is the Microsoft documentation for has one value. So as you can see, return true when the context for column name has been filtered down to one distinct value only. Otherwise, return false. And here you can see the syntax has has one value and column name. So now let me go back to Power BI desktop to show you the real life example. First, I will add a one data card from my visual gallery. And let me adjust the size of data card. And I will add one slicer. Okay. And I will add one table as well. The table is for just verification, data verification. Now, in data card, I will add sales amount, sum of sales amount. So you can see the total sales amount. In slicer, from my data table, I will add country. So you can see all these country. I will do some setting for this slicer. I will say selection select all so i will say multiple select i can able to select multiple country now so in data table or table what i am going to do i will add first country country and sales amount total sales amount and again i will add a sales amount and i will say average of sales amount let me increase the font size to 15 and column header also 15 okay now let me explain the requirement for example if i select australia single country this give me sum of cell sum of if I select a multiple country like Canada and France, so currently it is giving me sum of sales amount for these three countries. So I want average instead of total sales amount. So now how to implement this? So let me add a new major here. So my major name I will give sales. And here I will write if has one value, table name and column name, country, the column name is country, country, bracket close is true. What I want? I want sum of cell amount. So I will say sum data table name and I will say sales amount bracket close comma and i will go to next line now in next line here i will use average function and my data table name and sales amount bracket close okay now has one value if single country is selected then give me total sales amount otherwise give me average of sales amount now we will add this measure to data card and we'll check that whether it is working perfectly fine or not so i will go here and i will remove this and I will add newly created major here. So 1.24k. So let us try. So I selected Australia and you can see 1.62. And in the table, if you can see match the value, the value is perfectly matching. But here is a in thousand. Okay. Now, if I select a more than one country like Canada, so you can see the average 1.22k. 
and here you can see also the last column average so here it is in thousand and here it is in like you know 1.2 kk and here it is a direct in thousand if i select france so you can see 1.42 and here you can see also is matching now let me remove everything and let let me select france only so now 4.65 and here you can see it is matching that's all for this video i kindly request you to subscribe to our channel if you haven't already and please like and share our content you can also show your support by clicking the thanks button below the video thank you